Right, well, you probably noticed in some of my videos I've uh, done sort of follow-ups where I've been to see something after I've done it a few months later. Well, this year, I'm going to jump in the car now, uh, my old car, and uh, head on down to see the hedge lane that um, I filmed about uh, six months ago or so when they had a hedging competition. So we'll head on down and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few cut-ins before and after of the hedging and how it's done then and what it's like now. So here we go, let's go down into Duck Hole and watch the, have a look at the hedge lane. It's convened. There we go then, so I just cut in there a bit of the footage of the uh, hedge lane um, or a bit of the footage of, of driving down to see the hedge being laid uh, back in, I think it was February time. Of course, it's quite a contrast now, middle of summer now and we've got a um, field that's just been cut for hay by the looks of it. We were here a frosty day last time we were here and there was a, a bonfire there and you can just see the remains of the bonfire on the floor there. Uh, and the hay bales in the background. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut in a bit of footage of this hedge being laid, just to give anyone who hasn't seen the video before an idea of what was going on, and maybe a little walkthrough of the hedge that I did afterwards. Uh, and then what I'm going to so so have a look at that, and then come back in a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll look at the hedge, what it's like now. <laughs> the other side now to get a good view of what everyone's been up to. You can see now quite a bit's going down. Mm, we've got a lot down here, look. A lot of it's in the finish at the end. And it's just about finished now, I think. I'll we'll start tidying up on there. It's actually a bit easier to have a closer look when you're um, down here with no one else taking part. You can get right up close without inter interrupting anyone. I don't actually know who won yesterday, because I haven't found the results yet. But there's the old cuttings there. There's a pile of them, good for the wood burner. And these are the bits taken off, taken off there, look, with a chainsaw and then finished off possibly by hand. So you can see how it works, you take, take a back chunk off there and then you basically are leaning it over like that. You've got to leave enough wood there for the, for the, the quick thorn or the thorn to keep growing because you don't want the, the thing to die. And what will happen is that will shoot up and bush out in the hedge. 
but also you get new sheets out of there so you get a double thickness if you like um, going on here someone's put the odd stake in which is a, a way of keeping it solid That's a tricky, tricky gap there. They've, they've laid one back that way against the way that it was go the hedge is being laid, just to fill the gap because there wasn't anything there. Nice, they've left the odd tree in as well. It's very easy just to go along there and casually cut the trees out, and, and uh, uh, it's quite important to leave a few trees to grow on up. And you can see that they're not actually horizontal, they're just slightly off the, off the ground at one end so that they've got a lean. Uh, they're quite all pretty good really, I can't say that there's a, a massive standout difference of, of winners, but I'm not the judge. But uh, the main thing is you can see here that it's very stock proof, if I walk up to it not going to get through there. It's a bit low at the moment but that'll grow up. I imagine the farmer here will fence along here and then basically um, leave this to grow on up but I mean it's all looking very good. Some good finishes here really. Professional job really for everyone. I think everyone's had a really good crack at this. It's um, nice to see that everyone had a go yesterday. Okay, so that was quite interesting because it was such a contrast with the weather and everything. Now we're into the middle of summer and you can see this hedge that's been laid here. Um, and it's nice to revisit it because, uh, you know, not everyone's aware that, um, you know, what a hedge is like after it's been laid. It's not so easy to get close to it actually because although they've cut a hay crop, they haven't come right up to the hedge probably because of all the branches that might be in it. So I'm going to walk anyway down the side of the hedge now. Um, and in the first year of, of a hedge being laid, it doesn't always look brilliant. I have to confess, you know, from the work I've done on hedge laying, it isn't always easy to get it to look tidy the first year because it's just a bit straggly and the, the shoots haven't covered up the old lay. But if I just stop here randomly, you can see the growth, the new growth you've got on the hedge where it's been laid. It's been chopped off there, look, and there's already 10 inches or 25 centimetres or something or something like that grown on top of there but also you can't really see the old hedge underneath it now we keep going along here some bits haven't shot out as much as others you always get a few dead bits in a hedge as well once it's been laid but generally speaking it's looking good and, and it really invigorates the hedge when it when it's laid you can see that again there's really big new growth there coming out so you've got the benefit of you've got the horizontals along here and then you've also got new vertical growth coming up which is what happens really you get the, the horizontals you've laid to fill the gap and then the new growth the following year is going to grow vertically up through the hedge making a really good stock proof barrier um, you can see it all the way along here I'm not going to walk much further because it's all basically the same I'll step out into the hedge into the field of me. Um, so you can see see what it's like and uh, I don't expect they'll trim that with a mechanical hedge trimmer for a, another year or two that'll bush out a lot uh, and it'll be a nice good stock proof hedge it's also nice they've left the trees in the hedge there we go there's an oak I'm not sure what sort of oak that is because it's got slightly unusual leaves on there for an oak tree because there are quite a lot of different varieties of oak. Some of you watching this video might be able to tell me. The leaves on it look slightly different shape from the English sort of standard oak tree. But well, I'm sure it's an oak. But uh, that's nice. Anyway, and that, that other tree over there is an ash, I think. Anyway, that's the uh, hedge revisited. And like I said, I always like to, to do a before and after because it's always interesting. So I'm going back for my breakfast now because I've milked the cows, done my day, day's work for today and uh, hope you're all in, enjoying the summer. Cheers.